Um, hi guys, Top Pops here, and today it is uh, my birthday. It's really early today. Well, actually, actually normal time. I just don't get up this early. Um, but anyways, I have this card here, and I'm supposed to open it up on camera. So I thought, why not? Um, so let's see what it, what it is. Oh, oh, nice. 19, the start of something big. And then on this side, there's a blindfold. I don't know what this could be, and I don't... I was expecting... Okay, anyways, let's see here. And then the other thing is, we have a letter inside here. So it says... I think I'm going to read this first for now. Just for you guys, anyways. Um, and let's see... Okay. Happy birthday, Tristan. Today is your special day. If you're looking for some pops, then listen closely to what we have to say. We know you like to pop on, so grab your backpack and run. We are getting in the car, so get ready for some fun. The place that we are going, you have never been before. You're going to want to film, so bring your camera out the door. It's kind of far away, so you're going to want a snack. We're not telling you where it is, and you will need to wear this mask of black. So let's get started. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. Okay guys, so we are now in the car. I don't know where we're going. I don't know, also don't know why my eyes are closed because I can't see anything. Um, we've been in the car for how, how long now? Two wow. hours. A while. Yeah. Um, so anyways, we're almost to wherever we are going. I don't know, but I'm pretty excited. So I, I think we are there. We're there, right? We're there. Okay, cool. So wh where are we going? Can I take my blindfold off? Yeah, you can't tell where we are anyway. So. No, I guess not. But where, where are we going today? Here we are. We're here. Oh. Muskoka Trophy Engraving. It's up around the corner. Okay, sounds good. I don't know where we are, guys. Okay, guys, this is pretty cool. We are now in front of the store. This is something that we've talked about a lot. We've actually got a lot of packages from them, but now, guys, we are here today at the store. We are at K-Dog and Fish. This is exciting. All right, guys, so I didn't realize this. I thought we were just coming to K-Dog and Fish today to go shopping, but apparently they gave me the key, so let's see if this thing works. All right, guys, here we are at K-Dog and Fish. Now, does this key open the... Oh, it does. Oh, look at this. We're inside. All right guys, so I'm looking around right now and I am up top here with some of the other figures that have got like Stranger Things, some of the Avengers ones. There's so many different characters here guys. I haven't seen this many ever at a store here in Canada, which is really amazing. Um, but you guys can see here, I want to turn this around so you guys can see pretty much the whole store here. There's like the rocks ones over here. I see a lot of Pokemon. We're going to get down and close to all the figures as well, but I just wanted to show this off from a distance here, like kind of all of them to give you guys an idea how big this store is. But yeah, it is amazing how many figures they have here and I'm excited to look around. Hey guys, the first thing that I noticed over here was the George R.R. R. Martin pop. I haven't seen this thing in forever. I mean, it is with the exclusive sticker, of course, because it's in Canada, but this is normally shared with Barnes & Noble, but it's a really awesome figure. Hey guys, here's some of the Rocks ones, which I've actually never seen before in person. They've got the James Brown one up here, as well as the Shawn Mendes, Shania Twain, and Steven Tyler. These ones are really awesome, and I might have to get the Shawn Mendes one today. Hey guys, so we're going behind the counter over here because we are kind of like the ones that run the store right now. Um, and over here, guys, we have some of the cooler exclusives here, like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy from the new Scoob movie. I think those ones look really great. I haven't got those ones because we haven't been able to go to the States, so this might be a good day to pick them up. They also have some of the Chrome Jokers here, which look really great, as well as Billy Madison, a lot of the ones from Happy Gilmore, Game of Thrones, Deadpool the Duck. They have the Stan Lee over here, which is a great one. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 cameo. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm just looking around, and there's so so many cool pops that I would love to show off, but you can't show off all of these things because there's way too many. Hey guys, so we came over to the icon section where they have the Farrah Fawcett, Guy Fieri, Marilyn Monroe, as well as the MTV Moon Person, which is really awesome. But down here, I did notice one that I do not own, and that is Ninja. So I might get this one today. All right guys, so I'm just showing this off here because there are so many different figures here. These are all of the superhero ones over here. So we've got the Marvel, we've got the DC, we've got Star Wars here as well. There's some really great Star Wars ones. Some that I don't think I've seen in stores yet either. Like this one here, I hardly ever see the Han Solo and Carbonite. They have a lot 
lot of them here. I think the bobble on that figure is so weird. It bobbles like, I don't know how to explain it. It bobbles forward. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that before, but it's front of the head bobbles because it's a weird uh, figure. But I'm so glad that they could make the Hans Holden Carbonate. But yeah, guys, I'm just looking around here because there are so many different figures. It's crazy. Hey guys, so back here behind the counter on the other side, they have a lot of their specialty series ones, which are pretty cool. So Leatherhead is one you do not see very often anymore, as well as the Uncle Traveling Matt, Hudson, uh, they've got Tigra over there, Wolfman, there is the Mr. Garrison, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show these off, guys, because they also have the Human Torch over there as well, and they also have, that's Kingpin and Electro, just so many different characters here. But yeah, guys, I think there's so many cool exclusives that you do not see very often anymore. All right, guys, so I also want to show off the 10-inch ones here just because of how many they have. So we're going to kind of go through these here. So let's see. Up top here, they've got the Notorious B.I.G. And I've never seen this one in person. They also have Voldemort as well as the Joker over here. And then over on this side, they've got, like, Wicket, Thanos, Hulk, Olaf, Thanos again, Charmander looking really great. I'm a huge fan of that one right there. A lot of the Pokemon ones look really great in 10 inch size. As well as the Michael Jordan, the Golden Indiana Jones. I think this one's supposed to look like the Golden Idol. I think so. I think that's what they're basing it off of. As well as Skeletor. Way up in the top there is another 10 inch as well. That is the Golden Deadpool. And then over here, they have a bunch more as well. It's going to be hard to show off because of the glare, but they have the Cap'n Crunch as well as Boba Fett. Hey guys, so a little bit lower down here, I kind of found these ones. These are the Hello Kitty My Hero Academia ones, which are really cool. So they've got the uh, My Melody, Hello Kitty. They've got the Karopi over here. I think they only have the three of them. Oh, they also have Pochaco as well. These are all really awesome. So over here, I found a lot of the new Harry Potter ones. These are really well done. I especially like this one here with Harry Potter as a baby in his arms, which looks really great. We also have the Harry Potter with invisibility cloak, Hermione with the feather. I believe this is the Wingardium Leviosa. I think it is Spell that she's using here, which is really cool. And then right next to her, we have Ron Weasley throwing up slugs, which is a pretty funny figure. I might want to get this one today. I don't know why. It's just a bit of a weird one. And then you guys can see over here, they have the two Patronuses, which are Ron's as well as Hermione's. Hey guys, so here we have a lot of the sports characters, a lot of the basketball ones over here. I see Larry Bird. That one's a pretty funny one, as well as some of the other ones. So we've got the football, hockey, and golf over here. But one that I might want to be getting today is a baseball one. It is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, this is our local team. So this could be a fun one to pick up today. All right guys, so here we have a lot of the vinyls and larger characters as well. I want to show these off because they are some pretty cool ones. I like the Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia here, as well as the Han Solo and Greedo, and there's the Green Lantern and Batman. This is the Jim Lee comic moment. I'm a huge fan of this one. It's a really great figure. And then one that I wanted to point out that was over here. Where did it go? Here we are up here. They have the bronze Michael Jordan, which is a really great one, as well as the flocked Scooby-Doo. And over here, guys, they have three out of the four banana splits. So here's a pretty great section that I found, guys. This has some really new figures, some of them that I've never seen in person before. One of them being this comic moment here. This is Venom versus Spider-Man. This is a previous exclusive. This one looks really great. I might have to get this one today. I don't know yet, but this one does look like a cool contender. Um, I also see Gambit over here. They have both different versions. This one's really neat because he's got his cards on him. And this is the Glow in the Dark Entertainment Earth exclusive one, as well as the Maximus from Gladiator, the Flocked Iceman, and then a little bit lower, guys, the Flocked Woodsy Owl, which I got. It's just stuck in the post office, but it's still an amazing character. All right, guys, so we've pretty much gone through all of the figures here that I wanted to show off. So now let's go around and pick some out. Alright guys, so we got all our pops over at K-Dog and Fish. Now, let's go back to the studio and check these things out. Alright guys, so we are back from the store and I want to show you guys everything that we got today because there's some pretty great stuff in here. Let's start with this bag because there are three figures and I think Noah's is in here as well. Yeah, so my dad got one for Noah because he's been looking for this one for probably, I would say a couple months now. They announced it, I think, at Toy Fair this year and then he's been wanting it since then. So this one right here is the Zion Williamson uh, pop right here. It's from the New Orlean Pelicans. Now, Noah's a huge basketball fan. I don't remember when he got into basketball again. It might have been, oh, no, I remember what it was. Him and his friends all did a random generator for which one was their favorite team, and Noah got the Pelicans, so he uh, picked this pop here. This is the one that he's been wanting for a while. Uh, these ones are newer. I think it says 2019, but I feel like it's one of the newer ones. I don't see any of the older pops on here. It's got Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving. I feel like they redid all of those characters. So there is the wave right there. There might be 
Um, they might be the Hardwood Classics after this one. I think that's what it is. And then, so this one was the wave before that. But anyways, this is a really, really great pop. And I know Noah's gonna really like this one. I've already shown it to him, but I wanted to bring it to the office just to show you guys. Okay guys, next up we have one of probably my favorite, I mean there's a lot of them, the ones that I got today were actually really really great ones, um, and this one right here was this. Now this was Ninja, now this one I was so excited about because this one here is the first ever streamer Funko Pop, and this one right here looks really great, they did his blue hair, um, one thing that I thought was kind of funny was they actually have him staring off into the distance on the back, I know this is kind of what his loading screen is whenever he streams, um, but I just thought this was really funny, and K-Dog and Fish, I just want to mention this, you guys had a crazy cool store. So if you guys ever can travel down to there, I totally recommend it because they had so many characters that I had never seen before. Like these ones have been out in the States, but here in Canada, these are harder to find. And they have all of their pops. I believe they were two for 30. So that is really great prices. They're competing with a lot of the big box stores. And I think those are pretty great prices. But anyways, guys, you can see there the Ninja one. It's part of the icon set number 52. I've been wanting this one for a while because I've been trying to complete the icons. Now there's a couple of them that are pretty expensive, like the Kirk Hammett as the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon as well as Frankenstein. I know Kenny has those ones because they're technically a rock spot even though they're in the icons line. Those ones are like $2.50 each, I think. Kind of expensive. All right, guys, so next up here, we got this one. This is the Sean Mendez Funko Pop. Now, this is one that I was excited about because he's a fellow Canadian, also a great musician, but I wanted to get this one just because it's such a cool figure. I've been wanting this one for a couple years now and they finally came out with it, so I thought it was pretty cool that they did make this one. Also, it's very detailed. This is like a specific photo um, that I've seen before. I looked it up when it had first come out because I was trying to figure out what it was from but they really did his tattoos well as well. You can also see his guitar. I want to get a little close up on that. You guys can see his guitar also has like almost like the paint chipped off of it where his arm would normally be uh, where he plays the guitar, which I think is really cool. They went that detailed with this figure. But yeah, that's why I'm such a huge fan of this one because the Rocks Pops keep getting more detailed every time. All right, guys, so I also want to mention this. We did get three soda figures while we were there. So we have the lion -O, Skeletor, as well as He-Man. We're going to be opening these up at the end to see if we got the chases. All right, guys, now in this bag here, this is where I got some of the more expensive figures, but I also got this one here. I want to show this one off first because this one was another one for the normal price of $15 or two for 30, I mean. Um, so this one right here was the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. from the Blue Jays. Uh, this is one that I really did want. This is the only ever Blue Jays player they've ever made into a Funko Pop. They've made Ace, of course, of the Blue Jays mascot, but they never did make an actual player. So I was excited to get this one because now I have all of the Blue Jays pops and this is our local team. So I thought I had to get this one. All right, guys, now this is the one that I was really excited about. This was the Scoob set. So if you guys don't know, the new Scooby-Doo movie came out this year and there was a line of them that came out. There was two actually, there was Scooby-Doo as well as, I think he's right here, yeah, Shaggy. And the problem with these two was this. They went to Walmart, which is exclusive to Walmart, which is fine. Um, normally I can go and get them, but the problem was here in Canada, we don't get Walmart exclusives. So with the border being closed, we weren't able to go over and get them. Also, they don't really ship to Canada. I tried. It's either like super expensive on some things and then just some figures like these, they just don't ship them at all. So it was a little bit tougher to get, but K-Dog and Fish had them for a good deal. So we went to get these ones today and these two look amazing. They kind of look younger in this. I know it's the animation style, but both of them do look really great and I haven't been able to get these ones. So I'm glad that I could get these ones today. But yeah, I really do like the way these ones look guys and it's weird that they made them all exclusive to Walmart but I mean now that I've got them I'm not complaining. Also I just noticed they made Scooby-Doo's nose way bigger than usual. I don't know why it's like that I just noticed that now. It's kind of funny looking. That's probably what it looks like in the movie. It's just funny how big it is. All right, guys, so these last two here are figures that I've been wanting for a long, long time. And these are ones that I've needed to complete my set, and I finally found them today for a great deal. Um, so let's see. Let's show off. Let's do this one first, if I can get it out of the bag. All right, guys, so this is it here. This is the C-3PO. So these are the Futura ones. Um, and if you guys don't know, Futura is a New York street artist and Funko let him design a bunch of different, uh, you know, like uh, I would call them wraps that go on top of figures. And this is one of them here. So this is the C-3PO one. And this is one that I've needed um, for a little while now. I know I have all of them except for now one of them, which I'll be talking about in a second. I have one that's very similar to the one that I'm missing, um, but the one that I did get but the other one that I did get was this one right here. Now this was the figure. This was the Boba Fett. This is the WonderCon exclusive with the con sticker. I missed this one on Funko's website, so I'm really glad that I could get it today. Um, and this right here is the red and black Boba Fett. Now, I found out that this one is not actually a future of Funko Pop, but they put it in the same line, so I did want to pick this one up. But yeah, this is one of those figures that I'm super excited about. And you guys probably haven't seen all of these on the channel just because some of them are still at the post office stuck there, which really does suck. But we do have some more of them coming, like the Jawa, and then the one that is stuck 
stuck there is the other Boba Fett, the normal sized one where his whole body is black and then his logo on his head. I was going to say Mandalorian logo. I think it's the Mandalorian logo. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, it's red instead of the black color like on this one. And guys, if you're wondering which one I'm missing, because technically I have all of them, I just don't have them with me at the moment, I'm missing the 10 inch version of this one right here. All right, guys, now let's get into these soda figures here. So this is pretty exciting. So I tried to pick up ones that I did not have chases for. Um, so we got the Skeletor, the lion -O, and He-Man, like I said. So let's start with the lion -O here and see if we got the glow-in-the-dark version. All right, guys, so fingers crossed we get the chase because I think I've ordered, I want to say four or five of these ones now, and they are one in six. So I feel like we're getting close to the amount I need to buy. But then again, it's from separate cases. So I could buy, I mean, a hundred of them from different cases and I wouldn't get the chase. So let's not look in the bottom there and see Fingers crossed we get the chase on this one because I don't want to have to buy another Lino after this because I like Lino, don't get me wrong, but I don't need six of them. Okay, here we go. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. It's hard to tell. Uh, hmm, um, um, no, no, we didn't get, no, we didn't get the chase. But anyways, it's still a cool one. Um, I just don't need this because I already have it. But still, I like the figure. And if you guys want to see the token in the bottom, this is it right here. It is the Lino. So there he is on one side. And then on the other side, he's limited to one out of 6,300. All right, guys. So next up, we have this one here. Now, this is the Skeletor. Now, I think the Skeletor, he's got like a green version to him. It's just like a bit of a different paint job. But fingers crossed we can get this one because, again, I don't want to buy another Skeletor. I think for this one, I've probably bought th two or three of these ones already. So fingers crossed we get the Chase one here. I mean, come on. I mean, really, all of these I'd like to get the Chase. So fingers crossed we can. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think so. Ugh, rats. Well, anyways, it's still a cool one, like I had said. Is it the, no, it is not. So this is the common Skeletor. Still a cool one, it's just one that I already have. We are not doing so well today with the chases, but we did really well last time, so I'd say this kind of balances itself out. But if you guys want to see it, there's the Skeletor right there, and then this figure is limited to 8,400. Okay guys, so let's get on to this last one here. This one, the chase is the He-Man Slime Pit. And this one is really cool. I've bought way too many He-Man. Um, I feel, He-Man, He-Mans? I've never said He-Man, plural. Anyways, doesn't matter. Um, this one right here, I've probably bought seven or eight of this one, I wanna say, so it's too many at this point. So, come on, He-Man, fingers crossed, we get the chase. All right guys, here we go. This is it. This is it, this is the finale. If I get this one, I'm done with He-Man and we can just be over with it. I, I really just want to stop buying He-Man at this point. So let's see, come on. Oh no, no, no. We did not get the He-Man chase, but I keep saying it's still a cool figure. I'm done with He-Man. I like He-Man, don't get me wrong, just when you have to buy so many of them, it gets kind of repetitive. But there is He-Man, still a cool one. I just already have it. And if you guys want to see it, there is the disc at the bottom for He-Man. And then on the other side, he's limited to one out of 8,400. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, too bad we didn't get any of the chases, but it was still really fun to actually go to K-Dog and Fish and pick these up instead of ordering them online. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for all the happy birthdays on Instagram. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I would say out of all of these, I don't know. I just love every single pop that I got. Maybe the Zion Williamson one is one that I didn't really need, but that is one for Noah, and he really does enjoy that figure. But I would say my favorite ones today were probably these two, and maybe the Scoob ones. I really do like the Scoob ones as well. But anyways, again, K-Dog and Fish, thank you so much for having an awesome store. Um, it was really fun to go down there and check out everything, because I've seen it online, but I've never seen it in person. And like I said earlier, if you guys want to go check it out, um, by the way, guys, this is not a sponsored video. I just really enjoy their store and have wanted to go there for probably almost a year now since they've opened up. So it's been really fun to go down there and check it all out. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Oh, I also forgot to mention, guys, there are stickers at K-Dog and Fish. So if you guys go in there and say you watched the video, you can get a sticker. Anyways, see you guys. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, <laughs> well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone.
There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.